Hello and welcome to Neil Spanish Flybox. I hope you're all well. Today's tying is a classic nymph with a, a touch of colour for the early season. So we'll get straight into the tying. In the vise I have a size 14 light nymph hook with a 3.3 gold bead and I'll be using 80 black thread. I'll give you the materials as we go along. Just mount this bead. Tighten it up a little. And trim off the excess. Right, I'm going to be using some Coq de Lyon for the tail and this is a uh, ginger Coq de Lyon. And I've taken a feather off. So I will take off some fibers. Uh, these are quite fine. So I will be taking off six or seven and tying those in. We don't want a, a long tail on this. That's just fine. And bind down the fibers of the coquillon and trim off the butts. Now we're going to put an orange tag on this and uh, I'm going to use some glow bright orange and this is number seven. Just take a piece off. I'm just going to dampen the end to make it easier to tie in. Pull that to length and tie it down. Wind down the fibers. Back up to the bead and back down again. Right, and wind on the butt. And we're going to make this quite a, a healthy butt so that it is quite visible. Wind that down like so and tie off the orange butt. Right now I am going to put just a little bit of UV onto that butt. It will hold it in place, it will stop it slipping, but also that is the area that is most likely to be affected by the teeth of the trout. So this will just protect it as well. Zap. Right. Now we'll take up those fibers and build up the body back down to the tag. And we're going to tie in a copper rib. This wire is uh, 018. So I'll tie that in. Just pull that to length and bind that down. Back down to the tag. Right now we're going to tie in some pheasant tail fibers and Four or five would do the job. So I'll just tear those off and I'll trim up the points and the butts and tie those in. Pull them to length and bind them down. Wind on the pheasant tail, up the shank, towards the bead, and 
And when we get to the bead, we'll tie that off. Like so. And trim up the butts. And then we'll wind on a copper wire. Only three or four turns. And tie that down. And hopefully that should helicopter off. There. Okay, now we're going to now add a collar to this. And I'm going to use a mix of squirrel hair, um, American squirrel and gray squirrel. And that should create quite a leggy collar. Just dub that on to the tying thread. Like so. And wind on the collar. Just tightening up the material as you go along. There. And before I tie it off, I'm just going to put some glue on the thread. And tie off the fly. And trim up the tying thread. Right now I'm just going to brush out this collar just a little to make it nice and leggy and buggy. And there you have the finished fly. This is obviously a, a great nymph. Uh, at the beginning of the season with the orange tag, it creates a lot of interest to these trout that have been starving throughout the winter and this is very attractive to them catches lots of fish you should have it in your fly box do tie some up i hope you enjoyed the tying do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber pass a comment if you want and i'll see you in the next video thanks for viewing bye